Harry Potter is a story about children in the 90s that never got to hear the Spice Girls. There's also magic, but that's a lot less interesting. I'm not a Potterhead. I'm a Potter scholar. I know literally every sentence in Jake Rowling's books about Harry Potter and uh, the other two humans. I'll be using game footage not to avoid copyright, it's actually the second best way to experience the story after the Lego games. Worst way is the books, because you have to learn these symbols. Okay then, let me tell you the entire story of Harry Potter. Harry Potter and a different name depending on geographical region. Sorcerer's Stone is correct, it's not a philosophy stone, it's a stone used for sorcery. This is Harry. His parents are dead, and his adoptive parents are dicks. Half giant named Hagrid shows up and delivers the now famous line, You're a trust fund kid Harry. So they go to the bank to look at his money. They also grab a stone. We find out Harry's parents were killed by Lord Voldemort, the wizard without a nose. You aren't allowed to say his name, but it rolls so well off the tongue. I think that's even worse than killing parents. Harry travels to the wizarding school Hogwarts, and we are introduced to the main characters. Obviously Harry Potter, the boy who fell into luck potion as a baby, now he has the power of main character. Ronald Weasley, comedic relief with a huge family, including Fred and George. I like Fred, don't care for George. The only thing I like about him is his left ear. They also have their nerd, Hermione whose job it is to make Harry look better, essentially his manager, Draco Malfoy, a villain in four books and comedic relief in three, and finally Neville. His talent is that he has no talents. The main characters are sorted into Gryffindor House, and now they have lessons with the Hogwarts teachers, like McGonagall, a literal cat lady. Professor Snape, first described as a black-haired wizard that stared at Harry the way someone that knew his mother since childhood would stare at him. That can't possibly be foreshadowing. Professor Obvious Villain, and of course, most important of them all, Madame Hooch. Harry Potter is all about the Hooch. Also Albus, he's like a supervisor or something. A troll shows up, and is promptly killed by Ron. Enjoy this while it lasts, it's the one time you really shine throughout the series. Harry gets an invisibility cloak, and finds a mirror that ruins your day. Then a centaur tells them to go check out the Philosopher's Stone, but it's protected by tests. First test, giant dog. Can be beaten by music or a hand grenade. Second test, evil plant. Defeated by a first grader spell or a hand grenade. Third test, a door. Hand grenade, obviously. Fourth test, chess, grenade. Fifth test, poisons. Ha... I give up. No way. The obvious villain was the villain. But he's not alone, his turban holds. Some random guy, that's not Voldemort, he has a nose. Then Harry murders him, goes into a coma and wakes up to Dumbledore stealing his candy. But Harry can only think about how good it felt. Harry Potter and the Chamber of the Classified. In the worst Harry Potter book, everyone wants to kill him. An elf tries to kill him, a teacher tries to kill him, his wife tries to kill him and all those other filthy mudbloods. What is a Chamber of Secrets? Well... Hogwarts was founded in 990 AD. It was not only the first wizarding school, it was also the first school with a special needs class. The founders were two people no one cares about, Salazar Slytherin and Chad Gryffindor. Salazar knew with the co-living, guys would need a place to jack off, so he built a chamber. He was into all kinds of snakes, even trouser snakes. To not seem like a weirdo, he made up a lie about killing normies. Then a giant snake showed up. The snake petrified a bunch of people, so the gang decides Draco did that shit. He didn't. He just wanted to. A ghost gives Harry a diary. The diary says, Hi, I'm Tom Riddle. Petrifying all those students? Yeah, Hagrid did that shit. Okay, they caught him. Mystery solved, game over. The half giant says one last thing. Follow the spiders. What the fuck, Hagrid? Your last wish was to get Harry killed. Oh no, Hermione has been petrified. He's still not done. Let's find the chamber. Where is it? Obviously in the Slytherin room. Wait, it's on the toilet. Was my jacking off theory correct? Also, they kidnapped their professor and he erased his own memory. <gasps> 
Ginny Weasley did that shit. And Tom Riddle is Lord Voldemort. I can't believe Hagrid got Voldemort into his schemes. Then a giant snake showed up. How to deal with a snake encounter. Never go into tall grass. Don't bite your nails. This kills the snake and holy shit. Is Harry Potter in Dude Perfect? Riddle is dead and Jenny is like, Riddle made me do it. Jenny. The voices told me to do it, it's not gonna hold up in court. Yay, everything solved. Wait, what was up with the elf? Malfoy did that. Using an elf as a hitman is probably illegal. Good thing money always wins in the magical world too. Teacher got his memory restored. Then in 2017, people came forward with new allegations. He is currently under police investigation. I wonder how they did with prisoners in the wizarding world. Harry Potter and the Bumpy Ride. When it comes to prison, people talk about punishment versus rehabilitation. In the Harry Potter world, they lock people up and torture them for the rest of their lives. Really, really backwards place. One of those people was Sirius Black. Then he left. Ron's dad tells Harry, Hey lad, there's a murderous psychopath that wants to kill you. So do I need like personal protection? Harry, don't be a pussy. The train gets searched by the mentors. Prison guards that don't get paid so they try to get a bribe out of the rich kid. Too bad new defense teacher Lupin saves him. Oh no, Sirius Black is in the building. And he destroyed a painting. Harry is not worried about this murderous art critic. But then he finds out he betrayed his parents. Doesn't like that. Hagrid tries to kill Malfoy with a bird. A dog drags Ron into a tree. The dog was serious, uh oh. But Lupin is here. Ah, they're buddies. Sirius says, let's kill him. Being, being oddly unspecific. Hermono is like, I knew you were evil, you go out at night and howl. You're a furry. No, I'm a werewolf. And a furry. They wanted to kill the rat. That turns out to be a rat looking guy. How could he betray Harry's parents? Oh, we know why. I think my animorph should be a jaguar. You're becoming a rat and you're liking it. Oh no, the full moon is out. How incredibly unfortunate. The rat escapes, Lupin escapes, Sirius is dying and the cops show up to crash the party. It's all over. Sirius Black is gonna die. Then a glowing deer shows up. They wake up in the hospital. Harry, I have a time travel device. Let's fix this. Ah oh, yeah, my mud blood. Wait, can't they fix everything with this? No, the time turner can't actually change the past. For now. So they go back and fix everything in the end. Harry Potter and the... Uh... The book starts with the Quidditch World Cup in England. Magic hooligans must be fun. Then Death Eaters, Mage Al-Qaeda attacks. Brazil spent 800 million on security. The Quidditch World Cup spent that time zero. At the school, defense teacher Mad Eye Moody. What a mean nickname. This year, the school is hosting the Tri-Wizard Tournament. Competing against two segregated schools, Bubaton and Durmstrang, that the Vicky says is in Sweden. So honestly, go fuck yourself Hogwarts, we're about to kick your Scottish arse. Who's your most famous student? A domestic terror survivor. Compare that to a global Quidditch sensation! To enter the tournament, put your name in an inanimate object whose decision is above the government. Oh no, the dude on the cover got picked even though he's too young. Albus asks him about it. In the book, calmly. In the movie, he pushes him against the wall. In the game, however, he doesn't say anything. Dumbledore just stabs him. First challenge, steal an egg from a dragon. That was easy. No property damage needed. Next challenge, breathe underwater. Harry cheats and gets bonus points. That's BS. Where's the judge? The, the government representative. Ah, he's dead. Obvious suicide, keep the tournament going. Third challenge, a maze with a sphinx. And Harry doesn't win, Edward wins. But a Hufflepuff winner would be too weird, so they grab it together and end up in a graveyard. <sighs> a good character died. People can die in Harry Potter, no one is safe. Seamus! Then Voldemort gets resurrected, challenges Harry to a duel and loses. Harry returns and causes a very awkward moment. Brits and their cringe humor. Uh, Moody was evil, by the way. But Voldemort is back. The scariest villain in the Harry Potter universe. 
No, he's not. Harry Potter and the Don't Trust the Government. In Long Harry Potter, Harry learns that Voldy isn't that bad compared to one mean teacher. It starts with Harry chilling with his bro, then the mentors do a drug bust, so Harry attacks an officer of the law and is expelled. That was a short story. Fucking trust fund kids and their lawyers. At Hogwarts, Umbridge is the new Defense Against Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher. Doesn't teach them anything, the government believes Voldemort is a false flag and doesn't want Dumbledore to create an army. To disprove the claim about Dumbledore creating an army, the gang decides to create an army. In the last book everyone disliked Harry, in this book everyone hates him so he should feel just at home. Harry also has visions of his friends being tortured and is forced to take interrogation training with Snape. Oh no, the guerrilla rebels got caught! Huh, everything went better than expected. Then he sees Sirius has been taken. His visions hasn't been correct so far, but Harry is betting it all on black. Let's go to Umbridge's office and teleport to him. And she catches them. Umbridge decides to torture a 15 year old. This is what happens when magical England is a one party state. Centaurs. Centaur solved this. The main characters fly dead horses to the Ministry of Magic to what could not possibly be a trap. Oh no, it was a trap! Sirius Black gets killed. I should feel bad for Harry, but it's established that love can stop an Avada Kedavra, so Harry just didn't love him enough. Then we see Voldemort's second wizarding duel and he loses again. What if he's a really weak wizard but people just follow him because he's creepy? Harry Potter and the Snape that killed Dumbledore. At Hogwarts, Snoip becomes Defense Against Art Teacher. Yes, for the first time someone who is qualified. The new potions teacher is Slughorn. A person named Slughorn would change his name. These books are getting unrealistic. In the one potions class, Harry finds a book with all the answers, written by the Half-Blood Prince. Who is he? Who cares? If I googled a school test and found all the answers, I wouldn't assume it's a dark mystery, Hermoinoi. There's rumor going around that Harry is the chosen one. He's not. I think Padma is the chosen one. I think she's got this Dark Lord situation. Through the book, someone is trying to assassinate Dumbledore and is terrible at it. Harry thinks it's Draco again, but can't find any proof he's a Death Eater. So he decides to kill him. Worked before. Now that Harry is a bad boy, Ginny kisses him. And then a giant snake showed. Dumbledore wants a memory from Slughorn. To get it, Harry drinks luck potion, making his luck. No noticeable difference. Now we can see Slughorn's memory. Hey teacher, if I was evil, I'm not obviously, but if I was, how would I get bonus lives? Green mushrooms. Or murder. Voldemort put pieces of his soul into very obvious objects, so he couldn't be killed. Voldemort's uncle, Morphine, yes his name was Morphine, it was a different time, had a ring. And it destroyed Dumbledore's hand. Horcrux number two is Slytherin's locket with a picture of a sombrero snake. It's in a cave, in a liquid of... Based on Dumbledore's reaction, I'm assuming root beer. They get back and oh no, Draco is a Death Eater! A useless Death Eater. Then Snape shows up and Snape can know. No spoilers. Harry Potter and the road trip. Let's escort Harry to Ron's house. The attempt causes Moody to die, the bird to die, and... No! Another Ron brother is getting married. And Lupin has a kid now. Sucks the tension away from him, because now we know he can't die. Then there's a government coup and the wedding is ruined. The snake sombrero locket was fake. And the real one is currently owned by Mega Voldemort. So they break into the ministry. W what's up with the wizarding world and security? Turns out the locket was made in the land of Mordor, in the fires of Mount Doom. And can only be destroyed by very specific things. Like the Chad sword. It also gives Ron a migraine so he leaves. Another glowing deer tells Harry to jump in a lake. But by happy chance the Chad sword is also in the lake. He dives in and almost drowns. He's saved by Ron and then Ron accomplishes something for the third time this series. They go to meet Alex Jones 
uh, get arrested and taken to Draco's house. And finally, Hermione gets tortured. It's usually the other two. Harry contacts the hitman. The hitman contacts the ratman. The main man says to the ratman, Wanna join my team? And the rat guy strangles himself. It's the best scene in the book and Warner Brothers didn't have the balls. They leave and the elf dies from a knife, a muggle weapon. Impressive. Meanwhile, Voldemort opens Dumbledore's grave and finds a note from Warner Brothers saying we like money. Warner Brothers and uh, what do you mean there's only seven books? Horcrux number four is a cup hidden in a bank. Considering the Wizarding World's security measures, they decide to rob the bank, grab the cup and ride the dragon. Voldy, this is why people use offshore banks. Horcrux number 5 is probably Ravenclaw's diadem, they guessed without any proof. They get into Hogwarts, Snape is headmaster, Snape is no longer headmaster. Where's the diadem? A ghost says the Horcrux is in a place Killian forgot to mention. So they go there and uh oh. Oh, time for the final duel! Minor character remembers he can't beat the main character, so he sets the place on fire. Voldemort lays siege to a boarding school. Then there's an all-out battle with every character. Fifth Horcrux, Snake. While searching for a magic mongoose, they find dying Snape and he gives them a memory. Back at Hogwarts, Lupin and wife are dead. And please tell me that's your- no! Sony memory player. Snape and mommy were childhood friends. But Harry's dad bullied Snape and Lily found that irresistible. But Snape still loved her and to prove his love, he took over Nakatomi Plaza. Also joined Dumbledore. Uh, Voldemort makes a reasonable demand. Potter agrees and gets killed. The second time a thing murders Harry Potter. The first thing was to finish book covers. It didn't kill him. Is Voldemort in love with Harry? He meets Dumbledore in his head and Dumbledore tells him, Harry, I had a young boyfriend that runs a yoga studio in Glasgow. How fast did he move on? Is canon. Joanne agrees with me. Wait, who's Joanne? Harry wakes up and everyone starts to fight again. The Death Eaters are too powerful. It's all over. Everyone is going to die and Voldemort is going to take over Magic Kingdom. Then a giant snake showed up. Neville! Neville was the chosen one. The books makes this super obvious. The movies are way smarter about this. They only show us this by making him more handsome every year. Voldemort dies. Okay, who cares? Who won the House Cup? Slytherin! That's pretty biased. It's 30 years later and Harry watches his kids get on the train. Harry Potter ends. And I completely forgot to talk about the Deathly Hallows. But that was the only thing I forgot throughout the entire series. And that is the Killian experience.